What's up guys? Yes, you are actually seeing this. The white-tailed jackrabbits are here and I'm gonna be trying to give you a guide so you can get started off hunting these the right way. I'm gonna be trying to give you a few pointers so you can get out there and hunt the white-tailed jackrabbit yourself as fast as possible. You want to be hunting them in the morning. From 6am to 12pm seems to be the best time, at least for me. And having a high ground of a clearing or something like that where you can actually see what is going on is just going to make things so much easier. Right here you saw how easily they disappeared. They went into the high grass and now I can't see them anymore. If I am up elevated and looking down on them you can actually see them cross down the grass and move around in the high grass. Like this I'm... I'm not going to be able to track them down easily but let's harvest this one which just to show you what they look like and they actually do have vitals and i shot it with one of the new rifles as well the 22 lr jacked hollow point bullet did a very fine job of just dispatching this one right on the spot and we have them right down here in the clearing. This is perfect, guys. Also, we're going to have the spreadsheet updated very fast. So if you want to know what a big rabbit is, go ahead and join the Discord. There's a link for that down in the description below. So you can also go out and hunt diamond rabbits. Oh, that's a crossbow. We do not need that. But look at this. We have them in the clearing down here. And we actually have two there. Oh, we missed. God damn it. One of the things with the jack rabbits is there is so many of them. The population of this animal is extreme compared to any of the other animals we have here in the hunter call of the wild they are usually in groups of at least four or five even more at times and that also means if you see one out and about don't shoot it right away try to get just a little bit of an idea how many rabbits are actually around and pick out the best ones you can as i tried to do pick out one uh, my searing was off so i didn't really hit anything but pick out one and then go on to the next one but if you have the patient pick out one and then wait for them to settle down again and one will be stationary shoot that one and you just rinse and repeat and if they get too far away from you you move a little bit closer but the 22 is definitely good enough to shoot with all the shivering ranges so i can highly advise you to take shots uh, i myself you tend to use a hyperion i have tried with the arcoscope but i only need that for like the real long distances Oh, there we go. I think this should be another... Oh, damn it. Yeah, there we go. Another warning thumb. And this is the, well, pretty much a warning call. Whenever they see you around, you will get this warning thumb. And they will most likely run away if you're not being very careful. But we're getting down in a crouching position and trying to just move a bit closer. The wind should be fine. I'm not sure how skittish they are when it comes to the wind and everything. But I like to take just my time with these guys because i love hunting them so much i the only weapon that i've actually shot them with so far is the 22 Ooh, we can hear them gonna be one right here in front of me somewhere and i know it is a bigger group but if i get to see one of them here i do think that i am gonna be going for a shot on one of them i think it's just working its way over here somewhere it's going to be very tough to spot it in the grass. There we go. One of the cool things about the rabbits is when you spot them. Look at this. I'm not even spotting anymore. Look at how long that it actually stays highlighted. This is to help you get the time to shoot them as well. Because else they would just be gone. Did I miss on the first one? I have no idea. Don't think I did, but I uh, got another warning thumb down there. We'll move down there in that direction. It seemed like I missed the first one. I was searing for 50, so I might have shot a little high. Yeah, I did. But it also seems like the quick kill bonus is going down a lot faster on these guys. So, But the best way of actually tracking these down is, as I'm doing now, just find the poo and try to see if you can find something being just now. Run around in the area and look for those warning thumbs. Because when you get those, you are really sure that they're just in the area. And as we pretty much just saw, this one was pretty much on top of us and we didn't spook it but i would really like to see if we could find some high ground and shoot them because i i have actually found it easier to be on like 100 to 150 meters and then take shots at them because my foliage doesn't render in at that range so the rabbits are pretty much just jumping around in uh, not that much vegetation but uh, 
it might be considered just making it too easy, but um, going close like this, it is fun as well. And in case you're wondering, yes, they do leave hunting pressure as well when you're shooting them. I've actually not tested which weapons you are allowed to shoot the jackrabbits with. I would imagine it being the bird shots, the small grain arrows, and the 22. But I might be wrong about that one. I will have a lot more videos coming out about the jackrabbit soon, but I just needed this one out here as soon as possible to get you guys started on hunting the jackrabbits, because I've had some troubles getting, just getting into things here. We just had another warning thumb over here, so I'm going to be trying to walk closer to them and then hopefully see them run away because I do believe that might be the best way for us to actually see them. Depends how far away it is though because I really don't see anything yet. I gotta say that the most luck I've had hunting rabbits is pretty much down in the area to the south. I haven't been doing much up north. I, I actually don't know if they're even up there but throughout Balmond oh my god there is a ton of rabbits. I basically find them everywhere in Balmond and High Lake and that is definitely my preferred go-to spots for hunting the rabbits. See some ears out here somewhere. There we go. And you can see here what I'm talking about. Oh, it actually disappears for me. But you can see here out on 120 meters my foliage doesn't, all of the grass doesn't render in as heavily so I have a lot better vision on this one. It is just going to be wandering around and we got another one over there. But this is what I mean. Once you find one, you'll basically be able to spot at least a few more because they are in these big groups. And there's another one coming down up there. I do believe, I haven't found it myself, but I do believe the level you want to look for for a very big rabbit is going to be level 3. Um, and pay attention to this actually. They are... They are treading down the grass when they're moving. This is why you want to be elevated when you're trying to look for them, just to make it easier on yourself. We're gonna shoot this one when it comes into like 20 meters, if we can actually see it. Just make sure we don't have anything else spooking around over there. Oh, that's the other one, isn't it? It's just behind, we got another one right there. But then, just to show you how short a distance they actually do flee once you spook. Okay, and there we go. I lost them. We know they're supposed to be here somewhere. Well, they're supposed to be basically right in front of me now. And one of them doing a warning thumb over there. Oh, actually we might shoot at that one because it looks like a decent one. Ooh, it's taking off. But look at the time we can actually track it with the spotting outline. It nearly feels like cheating, doesn't it? But I do believe it's probably the best one that we've shot yet. It was a level 2. And as I said, I do believe they go all the way up to level 3. But uh, we're going to have the spreadsheet updated fairly soon. So if you want to know everything about the jackrabbits or any of the other animals in the game, make sure to join the Discord. There's a link for that down in the description below. We got another one up there. Seems to be working too. But the 22 is just beautiful. Need to find this rabbit that we just shot. One is up here. Um, our consecutive harvest might have fallen off, but I do believe it's still going to be just giving us a decent size. Anything above level 5 seems to be a big rabbit, or a trophy rating 5 even. And they come in a lot of different fair variations. I think I've seen 4 or 5 so far. This is a 2.9. This is just a barely a silver. So yeah, that was just a few of the pointers that I really wanted to give you guys so you could get started hunting the Whitetail Jack Rabbit. It is so much fun and it's definitely going to be what I'm going to be doing for a long time. Uh, I want to be doing a lot of crossbow hunting as well because that is amazing. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. There is a lot of videos coming out soon. Just to leave you with the tips once again. What I found working best is early morning, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Having high ground in the clearing just seems to be working a lot better. At least be able to look down on them. And if you find one, please just spend a few seconds looking around for others because there will definitely be a lot more in the area. And the spotting, if you have them outlined, it's just going to be so much longer time. So don't worry about them running away just in the 
very beginning so don't take those quick shots they they will be there and depending on how far of a range you want to be shooting the rabbits at i highly advise you to use the hyperion scope if you have it or the standard one is working just fine as well for the little closer range shots but once you get out on 100 150 meters you might start to get in a bit of trouble with that one and all there is left to say is just enjoy hunting them they are so much fun